Okay, so let's start, Freddy. Um, thank you for your time again for this uh, meeting, Freddy. How are you today? I'm good, Sensei. Thank you. How about good. you, Sensei? Very good, very good. Enjoying the oh. trip in Japan. <laughs> yeah, I saw many posts you post in Instagram. It's very beautiful about mm. the shrine and then the statue, the rice. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Recently, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep posting more photos there. So yeah, please look forward to more, uh, yeah, more photos. Okay. So yeah, so today I just wanted to um, um, ask you how you traded one of your trades on in, in the month of July. You took uh, some amazing profits, amazing pips on one of the JPI pairs. So I just wanted to um, uh, explain like how you entered and how you exited and some psychology is behind also because psychology is also very important too and which is invisible so you know every month's end or new month I explain my own trace but I thought it's better sometimes to uh, let my someone else like students to talk about my strategy and how it's been working. So I think this is going to be a great opportunity uh, for everyone else who's watching this video to get inspired by how he traded on this trade. Sure, Sensei. I would be very happy to share about my trades on EuroGPY that I took sure. from last month. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, yeah. So let me share screen now and uh, let me show your pose. Okay. Okay, so here is the Discord, and uh, this is real time uh, post on the 23rd of July. You took the trade on Euro JPY. And so every time, um, this is for everyone who is watching this video, but every time you enter trades and every time you take any actions from entry to exit, I recommend you to take screenshots like he did and uh, you know save those screenshots on your PC so that you know uh, you can look back your own trace and you can study your own psychology and also you can uh, discuss uh, by yourself how to improve your trace. So uh, that, that's something um, I recommend to do to everyone and this was actually the GTS class he uh, signed up and I um, I asked everyone, all the students to take screenshots of these trades. So this is again, his trade on EuroJPY on the 23rd of July. So, um, so you took the four hour time frame downtrend and also um, this is 30 minute time frame, which is what I call the confirmation phase. You get the confirmation on the 30 minute time frame, which is also bearish. I can see the Kumo's down, Kijun's and down also. Right. Um, and then uh, this is the entry confirmation you took was um, first stochastic debt cross and uh, support level breakout, which is this one breakout and also band walking towards the major direction so and you took the stop loss of 44 pips which is not too far so that was a perfect entry um, and also um, on top of those confirmations I can also see that this is a breakout of the range so range started around 3 p.m and it ended, it broke the range around close to like 8 p.m. So um, for one, two, three, four, five hours, it has been ranging, then broke. And the market tested the resistances a few times, but then it didn't renew higher, but instead it renewed lower towards the major direction. So in this price section um, range breakout also, I can see the seller's momentum here. So that was a good decision to enter your trade. 
So uh, this is question to ask you, but um, what are you confident on this trade? If you remember your psychology back then, um, when you entered this trade, uh, were you confident that you're going to make such a big profit or not really? Yes. So basically, uh, I remember this trade I took and I watch your weekly uh, live session. And you have also mentioned, I remember one of this pair also about the target for this weekly. I remember it's like a weekly Kijun Sen and that's quite far. So that's why when I see there is opportunity for this trade, I was quite very confident. But before that, I also checked the currency strength because from my past trades, usually I take the currency like 20 to 30. It usually don't go really into my direction. But when I saw these pairs like have a hundred strengths, so I'm very confident to take these trades. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Right. This is unusual to have like a more than hundred, you know, strengths in the currency strengths chart. It's like a hundred and fifteen, right, strengths. So that's really crazy, crazy market. <laughs> yeah, and my psychology was thought, wow, this must be very fast, will be moved once it uh, breaks towards the major direction. So mm -hmm. yeah, I took this opportunity to enter the trade. Right, right, right. Yeah, I remember this date on the exactly 23rd of July. I also took um, AUDJPY trade. I happen to have this uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet. Let me let me quickly share. But uh, this these are this is my trade. AUDJPY oh, on the 23rd, I took exactly around the same time uh, and uh, I took uh, 143 and 210 pips of profit. So yeah, JPY pairs I remember back then has been trending so much and you took Euro JPY since you got those entry confirmations and that was a good decision. Yeah, so yeah, strength chart was really strong, I remember too, which was crazy strong. This is yeah. not usual. <laughs> you don't really see this. I never saw this before. You see like 40, 50 is very good already, but this one is... Right, right. <laughs> JPY was really volatile that back then. So, yeah. But yeah, it's good that you follow the system, you follow the strategy, you follow step-by-step -step analysis and enter the trade. You didn't enter by emotion or gut feeling, right? right. So that was good. Just follow KTS system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I can be less stressed about anything else. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh. That's true. <laughs> yeah, and after this, um, you set the break even, which was, uh, which you actually summarized on the PDF. And that was uh, this one over here. Um, so the market went towards your direction at uh, 32 pips, 33 pips. Then you move the stop losses to break even. So this is also very important, you know, strategy of mine is to set the break even so that the trade becomes either break even or win gain. So although it took a few hours to set break even, after you do it, then you don't lose anymore. So you can you know, you can do things, you know, peacefully after this. Right. Yeah. Okay. And then after that, uh, I think this is next day. Uh, four hours still, still trending down. And um, also uh, five minute time frame is going towards your direction. So as you mentioned, there was a reverse in wave over here as you highlight in the yellow lines so you moved the stop losses above above the uh, above the pullback over here so um so this is i think in the morning time like a, yes. around like 9 a.m in your time so you just did right. it and uh you left the chart yeah, before I go to work, I just open it once and then I, oh, I see it's still current trending down. I mm -hmm. quickly move the stop loss to the pullback. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, right. Yeah, I think this is also good because I saw there was a previous support level breakout too and becoming pullback. 
So this is confirming that the market is going towards your direction after the breakout of here. So it's reasonable to put the stop losses above this level. Because if it breaks, if the market breaks this level, then it may go up after this or range. So it's good decision to do this. So yeah, before work, you did just did it in which take only a few minutes maybe. And right. Just few went minutes. to the job. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so you have 60 pips of fixed profit times two. So the worst case scenario is 60 pips of profit. Yeah. And then after this, um, this is, yeah, around like uh, afternoon time, you check the chart again and you found the market is going towards your direction continuously. So uh, you fix the profit of 97 pips and 126 pips and keep holding the trade, leaving the chart for another three hours. Was this your lunch break or something? Yeah, before I lunch time, I check the chart again and then I fixing the profit again before taking lunch. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So your lunch must be so delicious. Yeah, I can say. It so feels so happy and every food was very delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and I just check chart like as you uh, teach us, like only check like three to four hours open the chart and then, okay, yeah. it's open. <laughs> <laughs> Right, right. And again, it doesn't take, you know, a few hours or a few minutes to do this. Only a few seconds, you just move the stop losses down and have a lunch. Enjoy yeah. the lunch, right? So it's good. But my question, this is psycho kind of psychology question that the, you know, whoever watches this video may ask. But don't you feel like fixing profit here because you have enough pips already running, like more than 100 pips? So it's already a good, good amount of profit. So you never thought about fixing profit here? Okay. Or so actually, yeah. Honestly, this was my very uh, large trade in terms of pips. At that time, I want to like close the trade early. But when I check again the four hour or the higher time frame, it's still trending down. So I feel like I will have to keep follow, just follow this system so that I can see how the trade will go. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious. So just mm -hmm. following, not fixing anything. I see, point. I see. Yeah, that's a good mindset. Right, since four hours still down, there's no reason to exit your trade. You have just have to keep trade trading profits. That's my strategy as a trend follow strategy. So uh, in terms of the risk reward ratio, since you took 40 pips, 40 some pips of uh, stop loss, now your risk reward ratio is about like one to three or something. One to three, yes. Yeah. So one to three risk reward ratio is already great in uh, in in terms of performance, but uh, it can be better, right? So yeah. yeah, why not keep holding the trade and see? Till I see when the market flat, then I can exit the trade. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Because it's already fixed, the profit. So let's see how it goes. And then after that, uh, this is the next screenshot. So you trail one of the stop losses. So this is a night time. I, maybe this is after you work. Yeah. You take the charts around like 7.30 p.m. And then you still find the market's going down your direction. So you moved one of the stop losses down to 140 pips and second stop loss to 197 pips of profit. So yeah, looks like the market's still trending down with or without news, it's just going down. So you try all profits. So this, you are very patient here. <laughs> yeah, very patiently keep holding your trace and I still remember maybe at that day I was quite busy so I'm not checking for the second times mm. after the lunch break usually I check chart like 3 p.m. but this time I skipped that time and I came back at 9 at 7 p.m. I see I see I see okay okay so maybe when you... if I check again at 3 p.m. I might get 
uh, exit earlier. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I, I can see there's there's a, like a little you know breakout here. So one of the stop losses maybe hit here in fixed profit, maybe. So did you really think about that at like 3 p.m. when you couldn't check the charts? Your your emotion your psychology was a bit like you know a bit. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 maybe because I'm fixing like 100 pips, I feel like that's more than enough that I need. So I just do, uh, not really checking the chart at the time. So mm. more relaxing and not thinking about the trades. Because like 100 pips, more than enough. So yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Yes, that's good. That's good. So you're able to uh, keep holding the trade. So this is also something I really uh, uh, value in my trade is that um, I try to uh, monitor or check the charts in less time, but try to make more profits from the market. And that's possible in trading. So sometimes, you know, less is more true in trading. Like the less you screen charts, the less you monitor chart then you make more profits and i think this is a great great example for that yeah it's very true sensei after mm -hmm. i experienced this kind of trade uh, i feel that's very true about less is more <laughs> yes <laughs> now you see <laughs> yeah and that's how i make profits you know every month if i monitor every hour then i will never be able to extend you know more than 100 pips in my trades so yeah, that was a good uh, decision. At uh, 7.30, you move the stop losses lower and fix more than 100 pips, close to 200 pips now. And then after this, uh, this is... Next I day, the second day. Think. Right, right. Next day, you fixed 341 pips and 380 pips, which is crazy. <laughs> So this is how you lowered the stop losses, but you didn't take profit yet. You didn't take That's profit. Crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> just feel, I can see how many pips it will go down. I'm just curious. Just yeah. Trailing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this time, this is like close to, I think, 11 p.m. Or, uh, sorry, 11 a.m., 10 a.m. Um, but you didn't check the chart before that. Check okay. It. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Okay, so you're very patient. <laughs> you didn't wake up in the, in the middle of the night and check the chart. <laughs> no, no, no. I don't even open any chart after I like fixing 200 pips at that time. Like, okay, just let it go and see right. how the market will give me. Yeah, that's really important. Right. So that's good. You didn't uh, open the chart at like 7, 8 a.m. If you did, it's still it's running your direction. But you gave enough time, enough buffer to check the chart next morning and lower the stop losses like this. So again, 341 pips of fixed profit and 379 pips of fixed profit. So, yeah, again, you didn't think about exiting the profit, right? No, just following this, as you said, exit when? higher time frame flat and then looking for the exit time that's all on my mind i don't think okay. any else <laughs> good good yeah. <laughs> yeah obviously four hours still down right and it's kumo very... is... right and kumo is a bit thinner but it's not too thin so this is good so you, you you can still keep holding the trade yeah and then uh in the next timing um Right, uh, this is around, uh, yeah, hold on, let me see. This is right, where four hour uh, Kijun Sen and Kumo became flat. And this is when you look for exit timing with my strategy. So then you did, and you found that one of the stop losses hit. That's uh, 380 pips one, you know, hit the stop loss and took the profit of 380 pips and you moved the stop loss one tighter and fixed 358 pips of profit so this one is taking the profit and you lower 
the first stop loss to here, which is a good decision too, because um, first there are previous resistances and support. So um, if the market breaks that level, then it may have gone up this way. So it's good decision. However, the market may go down still again, right? Because right. whenever you see four hour Kijun Senkumo flat, this is 50 50 chance. The market may go up or down will be 50 50. So uh, you better lower the stop loss and fix the most profit. So, um, and if the market goes your direction again, then you trial again. Yeah, Think so that. Prof for this trade, I have one missing that is for actively trailing the stop loss. Mm. But because I have fixed like 358, so I just left the chart again. Yeah, <laughs> but, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. So you didn't you didn't check the chart after this. <laughs> yeah. But from your teaching, I remember that when find everything is flat, we have to actively trailing to the previous pullback so we can keep getting more pips. When the right. Market. Right, right. Yeah. So after um, four hour became flat, you may want to uh, monitor the chart more often. Like uh, it doesn't have to monitor. You don't have to monitor every hour, but maybe every two hours or so to 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 fix the most profit from here. Yeah. So uh, and after this, so this was uh, at like two p.m. You did it, and after that. Oh yeah, so this is next day. So you didn't yeah. check the chart on that. I didn't check. Just want to post into the group so I can uh, recap my summary of trades. Yeah, 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 sure. So yeah, after that, so this is where you moved the stop loss lower. I think around this area to here. And um, I think you exit your position here. And then the market actually went against your direction all the way up. Uh, like 200 pips up. So that was a you know good take profit timing anyways. So yeah, that was good. Overall, that's how you took the profit of more than 300 pips times two in the month of July. So um, I remember you told me that you tend to exit too early, you know, uh, before, yes. right? right. <laughs> because I was scalping since so like looking for 10 pips and then just go out. <laughs> <laughs> but the trade's right. not going well in that way. Right, right, right. So you completely change then with this strategy. The so, important uh, thing is like like you said, the break even trades that is mm -hmm. must be very focused on. So this time I take trades only focus when I can get to break even very fast. That's the key. Not the for not to try to think about how many pips but just try to get to the break even point that's the most important mm -hmm. for my for my trades currently right now yeah i'm so glad you got this idea because until break even is exactly the game we're playing and after after break even you don't technically lose so you just leave the chart you sometimes me, myself also you know if i'm when i'm busy on that day after break even i don't check it you know until i come back for like uh in like you know four hours five hours sometimes so yeah that's really you know uh you feel more relaxed and you can enjoy whatever you want to do in a day while making profit and that's the best <laughs> doing other things so enjoying the profits <laughs> yeah exactly exactly <laughs> so you know someone says you know uh let the money work for you. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right, but here in trading, let the time work for you. <laughs> right. <laughs> Correctly. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Which is unable to do in other jobs. So that's the best. And you don't have to spend lots of time to do this. Once you really get this idea, then uh, yeah, things will be much more relaxing for sure. So, yeah, it's great. It's great. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much for sharing this. And uh, I'm sure it's, it was uh, very inspirational, whoever watches this video. 
And this is exactly how I also, how I trade, and also、uh, the mindset、uh, of a trend follow strategy through Ichimoku. So, yeah, Freddy, thank you very much again. And、um, I wish、uh, you, you capture continuously some nice tips. And、uh, let me know when you capture another nice trade. <laughs> sure, Sensei. I will keep you posted once I get a big profit again. <laughs> big pips. Yeah. <laughs> sure.、Well. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Freddy. You're welcome, Sensei. Okay. Thank、you